Well, the PERSIST-1 study was a, a study of procretinib in patients with myelofibrosis, an oral JAK2 and FIT3 inhibitor, uh, that we tested in phase three based on ability in phase two studies to improve spleen size and symptoms in myelofibrosis patients, but be able to do so without causing anemia or a drop in the platelet count, and indeed, in some individuals, even increase it. So it was a randomized study that was unique in that it was intermediate and high-risk myelofibrosis, but there was no uh, exclusion criteria based on the degree of thrombocytopenia. So it was the first study that really allowed patients to have very severe thrombocytopenia and go on to a myelofibrosis study. They were randomized between pacritinib 400 a day versus best alternative therapy, and what we observed is that uh, Procritin was uh, as safe and efficacious as we had seen from the earlier studies. There was significant improvement in splenomegaly, meeting the primary endpoints in all subgroups, but in particular in those individuals with baseline platelet counts of less than 100,000 and less than 50,000. And this was the first phase three which had allowed patients with a platelet count of under 100,000 to enroll in the study. Second, we saw that there was very significant improvement in myelofibrosis-related symptoms, kind of across the board. But again, that group that otherwise had no other options, really low platelet count, they had really significant benefit. And then third, we observed that 25% of patients became red blood cell transfusion independent, which was a, a very important finding uh, in that these individuals were able to overcome that in the setting uh, of a JAK inhibitor. So overall, we were very pleased with the results. I think it clearly demonstrated that pacritinib will be an important option uh, for patients with myelofibrosis and a particularly strong option for those who have a very low count or perhaps pre-existing anemia.